Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to click the like button and subscribe so you can see more of my videos in the future. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Valerie and welcome to my channel, Texas Country Wife. I haven't been feeling so good here lately. Um, my stomach's been giving me some issues. And growing up, my daddy would make this soup that he called his get well soup. And it always made my stomach calm down. It always made me feel better. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. Now he would make it on top of the stove and babysit it and stir it. I'm not doing that. I'm not up to it. I called him and he said, sure, go ahead and use your crock pot. It'll be fine. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So first off, we need to start with two teaspoons of beef bouillon or two beef bouillon cubes. This isn't going to be very high in salt. It's not going to be uh, super strong in seasonings. Again, it's get well soup. And we grew up on this when we did not feel good. Daddy would make this. So there's one and two teaspoons of my beef bouillon powder. I don't have any more cubes. I had this on backup. I need to put that on my shopping list. Okay, then you need just a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, if everybody in your house is okay and nobody's tummy is upset, you can kick up the spices on this. So there's my quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. But if you do have someone with an upset stomach, this is a wonderful soup to have. It's got instant rice in it. Okay, and then I need one teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to put that in. Alright, that went in the crock pot. And here where we live, we have a filtration system on our water. Uh, because the purity of our water is not very good at all. So I have a gallon of filtered water here from our system. And you need eight, no, I'm sorry, you need four cups of water. All right, there we go. There is four cups of water. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot. Okay, and I forgot a spoon. I'll be right back. Okay, the handy dandy spoon. So I'm just gonna try and stir this a little bit here and get those seasonings dissolved. If not, it's okay. I'll come back and check it in an hour and stir it again. Okay, next you want a, let's see, this is 14 and a half ounce can of stewed tomatoes. We're going to put that in there. If you don't have stewed tomatoes, you can use whatever tomatoes you have on hand. These have Tomatoes, tomato juice, sugar, salt, dried onion, dried celery, dried bell pepper, citric acid, and spices. But they're really, when you smell it, it's not very spicy at all. It's just enough to give it some flavor. You can see just a few little pieces of onion in there. And uh, these stewed tomatoes, that's what this guy looks like. This looks like a little, little slice of tomato is what mine look like. I got those at Aldi's. And they were in my pantry. Okay, and then you want a 14 and a half ounce can of mixed vegetable vegetables, or if you've got frozen vegetables, that's okay too. I grabbed this off the pantry shelf. It needs to be used up, so that's what I'm going to put in here. This, this is just easier for me. I don't have to measure anything because I just have not been feeling the best. So we'll get that in there, but this is a delicious soup regardless of what your health situation is. Okay, and then for me, I will buy anywhere from three to 10 pounds of ground beef when it's on sale, and I will cook it up three pounds at a time, and I package it up, I weigh it out, I have a little scale in my freezer. And the recipe calls for half a pound of cooked ground beef that's been drained of all the grease. Um, this was marked three quarters of a pound. It'll be fine. This is a very forgiving recipe. 
So I'm going to put that in there. I thawed that out in my microwave from my freezer. I keep my little sandwich meat containers. And give that a gentle little stir there. Okay, and then the last thing here it says, oh, it's such fine print. I should have expanded this when I printed it. Okay, it's three-fourths of a cup of instant rice. So I have a half cup and a quarter cup measures. And we're going to put our instant rice in here. Yes, I open my boxes and I put my, like my rice and my instant potatoes and things like that into containers. And the pasta. What did I see in there? See, even your instant rice, sometimes you need to check it. There was a black fleck. It's not a bug. It's just a burnt piece of looking rice. Yeah, I saw that when I poured it. It would have been fine. It was just a black piece of rice on the end. Because, you know, they, they uh, dampen the rice and then they dehydrate it to make instant rice. It probably just got a little overcooked. Now I've got rice all over the counter. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just stick that in there. Okie doke, guys. That's it. This recipe is super simple. He said that um, I probably want to cook this anywhere between two to four hours in here. Just until it's simmering, bubbling in the crock pot. And just until the rice is done. And then this would be ready for me to eat. Now, if you did this on the stove top, it would probably be done a lot faster. But I'm not up to standing over here for the next 30 minutes and watching it. So, this is fine. It's morning time. It's going in the crock pot. This will be ready for lunch. Oh, there you go. My daddy's beef, vegetable, rice, get well soup. Super easy, super fast. I'll come back and show you when it's done. Okay, it's been two hours and my daddy's get well soup is done. Now remember, this is a bland soup, but you can spice it up any way you like. Go ahead and dish some of this up here. I've got my big soup mug here. And there's not a lot of broth, so doing it in the crock pot, I would suggest to add some more water and bouillon. Yeah, I'll start with two ladles. That, that should be good enough for me. It gives me about half a mug, and that's a really big mug. And then I've got some little oyster soup crackers here. I keep them in a mason jar to keep them fresh. And put some of those on top. There we go. That should be really good. I've had this before. I've just never had it in the crock pot. Mm. It smells good. It's the first thing that smelled good in a few days. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera so you can see me tasting this super hot soup. Okay, I've got the camera switched around. I'm going to taste this soup. It's super hot. It smells comforting. It smells good. Mmm. Yeah. It tastes just like I remember it. Again, it's a bland get well soup. But I have made it before with other spices in it and made it a little bit stronger with more garlic powder and more onion powder. Those vegetables in there, that'll be good for me. Mmm, yeah, that's good. I do suggest though, if you are going to do it in the crock pot and not on top of the stove like my dad does, because he'll add the rice at the very last, it's just instant rice. Um, maybe that's what I should have done here. I should have maybe waited until the crock pot was hot, but I just, I just wanted to put it all in there. So if you add the rice at the beginning, maybe give it another more, one more cup of water and, uh, some more bouillon or wait until it's hot and then add the rice. So y'all take care and make this soup, spice it up or not. My daddy's get well soup. Have a good day.